All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our night WCTV Game of the Week. We are here at Heritage Middle School for the WMAA Boys Basketball Championship where the Brentwood Vikings take on the Grassland Generals. Paul Brees, along with my sidekick colleague Daniel Poston here, bringing you the action. Welcome, Coach. Thanks for having me tonight, <laughs> Coach. Excited to be here. Absolutely. We're talking about two teams right here. One team, Grassland Middle, undefeated for the season. The Brentwood, uh, Brentwood Vikings, on the other hand, uh, pulled off the upset in the uh, semifinals against the number one team from the South, Page Panthers. And so the control tip by Roberts and the Generals are on the offensive end wearing the white uniforms and the Brentwood Vikings wearing the, how would you describe that color? Looks like Oregon yellow to me. Oregon it's yellow. electric. <laughs> so your point guard right there, seventh grader Davis Long and He's going to get a quick look, and you can't leave him open. And a quick rebound and a jump ball. And jump ball. To the Vikings. So, as we learned very quickly in middle school, no three-man ref crew here. So, you may slip up, and you may not, not see a foul. So, don't get worked up, Coach. <laughs> I'll try to keep it cool tonight. <laughs> Grassland coming out in a full-court press. The steal by Jackson Knotts. Quick turnover. Yeah. Well, that's also a lot of middle school basketball as well. So, uh, Grassland uh, coming out and a full court dropping into a man. And a big opportunity right there by Davis Smith for the Vikings. And shots you know, up. Yeah, you know. Oh, well, they grabbed his jersey right there. So uh, Edward Spillman, also a seventh grader, getting the start as well. So two seventh graders for the Generals, Long and Spillman. And a foul takes Spillman to the line. Shooting two. I know he's been working on his free throws. <laughs> well, off with the first one. Yeah. <laughs> the announcer is Jake's. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm a rookie too. 100%. Uh, you call it out, it's probably not going to happen. He splits them, going back to the full court. The 7-10 split, and the Generals lead. Whoops. <laughs> little friendly fire there. Yeah, absolutely. Robertson uh, Knotts, he's uh, not shaking up a little bit. Number three right there with the ball. Thought about yeah, it. Yeah, no, this, this is the guy you'd like to see trying to pull one. Josh Roberts, 6-4. Six, six, and that may have been a foul and one, but Spillman threading the traffic. And the deep three by Pritchard and Roberts with the rebound. Shot up. Yeah. Roberts off the mark. Great box up by the Vikings. Rebound 23, Austin Kammer. Well, Vikings having a tough time. Finishing as uh, 32. You call it Jack Medley. Swing back over to Knotts. A little afraid to pull the trigger. It must right. be because Man. of that. Tumble he just took with Josh Roberts. <laughs> and a quick timeout by Coach Jake Ray and the Vikings. A 30-second timeout as Nate Spillman buries the 12-footer on the baseline. Well, I think these teams played three times, two or twice in the regular season. Once in a, I call it a preseason tournament. And, uh, of course, all three times the uh, Generals came out. Favorite, I spoke with Coach Ray last night. He was just glad to be in the championship game. You never know what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, give yourself a shot. You can't win it if you don't play it, That's right? That's right. So, absolutely. You're not maybe, uh, maybe a heavy underdog coming into this thing. But you know what? You called it. Let's get out there and see what happens. And 33 for Brentwood. Uh, speaking of seventh graders, uh, Cochran. 
Very impressive seventh grader uh, led the Bruins JV team to the championship. Yeah, I got to see him play a couple times this year. I was super impressed. He's got a good inside out game, can shoot it, and also finishes well at the rim. Well, that's right He's on cue right to at, him. Yeah, absolutely. He's call, calling He's him out. He's going to be a great player. So five, two, three minutes. Middle school, only six-minute quarter. So if you're going to do something, make it quick. And I believe Knotts may have gotten Dropped, hit. It dropped into a two-three, and it looked like Knotts took one to the to the chin. He's getting his cage rattled early. And a nice move by Pritchard. Hayward. Yeah, great finish. Roberts had a chance to get that on the weak side and decided to stay put. Better pass and Long may have had it, but I tell you what, he's gonna shoot it anyway. Rebound 23, Austin Kammer. We've called his name oh. a couple times. Don't leave him open, he can finish. That was halfway down, coach. Cochran. Davis Long, gonna have plenty of opportunities it looks like. He's 0 for 3 tonight. May think about getting one of those head fakes and trying to get a little something closer to the basket. Well, Good defense from Spillman. Brentwood decides to leave it yeah. be. That is and funny. now the press is on. Yeah, that's the old offense. Seven four, minute 36. And counting here in the first quarter. Grassland staying in the man. Davis Long out on number 10. Connor Pritchard, the lefty, passes it off. Brentwood are going to have trouble. I think their best hope is an uh, open perimeter shot because if they get inside the paint, Grassland is a nightmare. Oh, got quite a bit of length down there. Got number 21, Myers Shantz, and number four, Reese St. John, checking in for the Generals. And they're going to send in number three, Ryan Barrett, for number 23, Austin Kammer. Brentwood staying in that 2-3, trying to eliminate some of those post touches from those bigs at Grassland. Turnover happens. And St. John with a quick foul. 25 coming back in. Davis Smith for number 42, Jackson Vingelin. Slow start to this one, yeah, Coach. Absolutely, absolutely. Get the jitters out, right? A Look. championship game. You know how it is. Well, it's going to be a tough play right there. Looks like St. John's come in for two minutes and picked up two quick ones. They're going to call that on the floor. Oh, sure, sure. So here we go. If you're talking about out of bounds underneath, uh, Grasson probably proves a, uh, a tough matchup with their link. That is a deep three. And Richard nails it. Put it in the books, the lefty from 22. Ties it up. big shot to tie yeah. it up. may have to, that's probably not the answer, but it is. St. John with the answer. Surprise, Grassland doesn't stay in that full court press to try to limit the possession here. Well, absolutely, with the, the clock winding down. That's a tough one, contested by Josh Roberts. Yeah, well, you got 6-4 out there with a hand in your face. All right, 
So we're in the end of the first quarter here in our WMA Boys Championship game. 10-7, the Generals lead the Brentwood Vikings. Paul Brees, Daniel Poston here on a great afternoon of basketball action. Pretty soggy outside, but luckily we've got the nice roof over our head here at Heritage. It's going to be a great evening. Hopefully the last three quarters will be as good as this first one. Uh, yeah, you know what? you got to give it up for the... Uh, the Grassland student section, I mean, you know, you say, come on out for the championship game. I, I may be counting about maybe 25, 30 kids over there. Not bad for the trek down to Spring Hill. Absolutely, Coach. Absolutely. I bet they're excited about the day off tomorrow. <laughs> maybe staying out a little later than yep, they yep. normally would on a Thursday evening, but we're excited to have them here. Hopefully they are enjoying it as much as we are up here. So, Brentwood probably feeling pretty good, only down one possession. And it looks like they're coming out in a 1-3-1 one, one yeah. here. Wow, look at <laughs> Josh Roberts, the post. Maybe a mismatch, I'm not sure. That's an easy catch down low. He decides to kick it back out. Doesn't matter how low you can get it if yeah. you're turning it over. Brody Chapman, number one, bringing it up. Yeah, Coach Ray and the Vikings play a lot of kids. He's going to give everybody a shot. Try to ride the hot hand. To give some Vikings credit. Moving. And a big three. Two. Jack Medley with the big straightaway three. Ties it up. Ten all here, Coach. Medley has the shooting form of, uh, I believe, almost looks like me back in the day. <laughs> hey, he looks a little more efficient, Coach. <laughs> Knocking him down. Uh-oh. St. John's going to get it ripped away. And it's stolen by Caleb Anderson, number 10. That kid's a great athlete, Coach. Great uh, athlete. He's a good basketball player, better baseball player. That's what I've heard. Shotzi oh. Myers with the, three. with the three. That's his game, Coach. The lefty likes to shoot him up, and he is knocking him down. Oh, and they got away with one. Will he fill it? Medley. Long rebound. Long Cochran. shots, long rebounds. Well, it's tough for 25. Looks like he took a little body there. Davis. And the rebound to uh, Josh Roberts. Well, they needed a possession right there. Oh, a long three. A little heat check there. <laughs> Generals need to settle in if they're going to extend this lead. Eric got a tip. Nobody wants it. You got you to gotta clean that up, especially a championship game. Yeah, you got three quarters. Don't let anything. Uh-oh. A risky move by St. John with the two fouls. He doesn't finish. Roberts with a couple. And he can't finish after a couple of times. A couple shots at it. He's staffing or stuffing that stat sheet with the rebounds. A couple offensive boards. That length is hard to deal with. Got to convert that. Grassland struggled from the line early. I imagine they'll jump into that press if Roberts converts here. Yeah, Roberts, if you notice him at the free throw line, lined it up way left. A little offset, yeah. A little unorthodox, but he <laughs> knocks that one down. Anderson with the forced turnover. Yeah. Blue collar guy. Sneaky, sneaky good athlete. Spillman trying to establish low post there. Yeah, I'm going straight to it. The elder of the two brothers. 
Both are good ball players, though. They got a mismatch down low. Feeding Roberts. That's a fantastic move and finish. That's just and the press is on. Yep. It's right here that you don't want things to get away from you. Oh, tipped away to Davis Long. Good dish to Spillman. Yeah. Oh, he's going to take him on steps. Off the turnover, he's going to have to stay put, though, in this length of grassland. Could be difficult to deal with. Oh, and he hit the – Pritchard, I believe, hit the back of the backboard. Oh, I'm sorry, Cochran. Cochran, yeah, the seventh grader. Good ball player. Got to make sure you know where you are on the court. That's a tough one to turn over there. You put Grassland in a very good scoring position here. Kicks it out to Davis Long. One more, Anderson, wide open three. And Cochran with the rebound. Oh, he thought about it again, yeah. didn't he, coach? <laughs> That's aggressive move to the basket, taking it at the big man and earning yep. himself two free throws. Richard, gonna head to the line. That's going to rattle in. Grassland, we've got number 22, Edwin, Edwin Spillman coming in for Josh Roberts and 42, Jackson Vingelin checking in for the Vikings. Oh, Vingelin with the, beats it to the punch. Right in with the rebound. Great sub there. Get you an extra possession. A little too hot on that pass. Jackson Knotts coming in for the Generals. 16 11, 227 here until halftime. Been pretty clean so far, yeah. Coach. Only yeah. five fouls. Five fouls. Like Tom is moving. But everybody's playing really hard. It's been a great one so far. Pretty, pretty good game with a lot of flow. Give and go. Ooh, I don't know if he had possession of that. That was a quick whistle. Gives the Generals another yeah. chance to yes. set up that press, though. Sometimes your best offense is defense. They beat the press. And it rattles in. Pritchard. Connor Pritchard. Cuts it to He's one having possession. him a game. Knotts with the poor pass. Turns it over. He's a good ball player. I know he'd like to have that one back. Yeah. He's usually very efficient on his passes. Oh, you gotta hate that for if you're a Viking fan is Cochran couldn't come up with a catch. You trade a couple turnovers and ball back to Grassland. Kyle Peterson, the uh, general's coach, is trying to settle him down out there. Oh. Uh oh, they're gonna get Josh Roberts. <laughs> he can always be the guy that'll stop him. Little That's short on the front end. Rebound, Davis Long. Well, Johnny on the spot. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give Josh credit, Roberts credit right there. They got the steal, and because the young man did not want to finish on the uh, the break, they got the turnover on the foul, and the Generals are right back at it. Oh, and, and that's just too Florida easy. Floor to floor. That a way to run it, running right at the rim. Josh Roberts with the layup. Vikings break that press easily, setting up in the half court against the man-to-man. -man. Oh, man, almost going to get a five-second there. Davis Long with a good defense. 
Kicks it out. Good ball fake. Yeah. Silky Lovely smooth. Lovely finish. Cochran. We got a ball player there, coach. Spillman comes up to relieve the pressure. I think Roberts is going to go ahead and take accepted challenge right there. Says, you can't guard me. That's a tough matchup for anyone in middle school. He's able to finish with both hands. Looks like they're going to play it out for the last there shot here, Coach. Down by five, the Vikings. They can go in. Nice move. Shot play. goes up. Spillman. Oh. Is it going to count? The ref said it would have been good. Well, so heading into halftime of the WMA Boys Championship game here at Heritage Middle School, the Grassland Generals lead the Brentwood Vikings 20 to 15. We'll be back for second half action. Right after. Stay with us, folks. Welcome back to our WCTV Game of the Week. We're here at Heritage Middle School for the WMAA Boys Championship game. We got a quick yeah, wrestle here from the blue. It looks like we uh, maybe we didn't get the turn right here All at right. the possession arrow. Right. So your halftime score coming out of the game is uh, Grassland Middle School 20 and the Brentwood Vikings 15. Grassland in the white, Brentwood in the Oregon yellow, as a uh, counterpart, Daniel Poston has called it. It's electric. And a clean block by Spillman. Richard attacking the bigs again. Not as much luck this time against Nathan Spillman, the older of the two Spillman brothers. And they reward him on the other end. Two fantastic plays to start the half, and the press is on. Brentwood successfully gets Davis Long, number two, out there for the Generals. Tough, a defensive player, really hassling Pritchett. Pritchett man. No shot clock in middle school. Take your time, kids. <laughs> we, that, we had a first oh, that's half be a flyby with only five total fouls. It's been clean so far. A lot of fun out here. Quick turnover from the Vikings after a long possession. Yeah. Oh, not, not sending it in. Roberts on the follow. That's a big boy play right there. And quick timeout. Quick timeout by Coach Jake Ray. The Vikings coming out of the locker room. Only down by five, down, down by nine. That's a quick turn of events. You got to settle them down, coach. Settle them down and see if you can get a good possession here on the offensive side. So, Coach Kyle Peterson for the Generals. Probably going to draw up the old press and uh, see if they can get another easy basket. A lot of teams that I've watched against Grassland uh, this year, Daniel, is uh, they worked so hard in the first half. They're, they feel like they're in the game, and then they get stretched out at the end because Grassland is just so athletic, long, quick. You don't go undefeated through tournaments and the regular season by not being good. Davis Long, that's legal. Quick possession change. Roberts kicks it over to Spillman, and we've got a foul away from Travel. the play. Travel. Oh, okay. Travel. Too quick on the head fake. You got to put it down. Oh, could have had it. Whoa, almost a. Should have returned the favor yeah, on absolutely. that one. Return to Cinder. <laughs> got to always love a Elvis reference here in the great state of Tennessee. 
Well, here we go. Vikings need an answer. Got a 4-0 run by the Generals. Read the scouting report. The Generals sure are stingy with this defense. They're not going to give you any baskets in the paint. Just as I say that. <laughs> the Vikings attack. Absolutely. Daniel Cochran knows how to get his shot. Looked like that was on the floor, but it looks like Blue's giving him two. And if you're going to get freebies, you better make them. Take advantage when you can. Grassland. Cochran converts on that yeah. one. They try to return the favor on the press. Grassland beats it easily. Oh. And if you're Coach Kyle Peterson and the Generals, you'd love to see that. The aggressiveness of Josh Robertson. Going to get a five-second call. That'll get the fans excited over here in blue. Go, Cochran taking a seat. For number 22, Max Paranjape. And one, send it in. Josh Roberts has come to play. And he is aggressive, coach. He might just be the best middle schooler in the, in the county. Uh, okay. You almost said, cut. I thought you were going with country right there. I was going to have to stop you short. But you're exactly right. Soft touch. The great finish around the rim. Looks like we got 23 coming in. Austin Kammer. Jack Medley taking a seat at the bench. Roberts converts. Dan one. 29-16. And that's a bad place to pick your dribble up. And they get out of it, the Vikings. And you see the Vikings having a tough time. Spillman with the great hustle. He wants it, coach. Oh, not, not going to fit. Spillman going to get the answer. Oh, give number 20, Nate Spillman, a tip of the cap. Great hustle play, great hustle play. Jackson Knotts picks it up, always in the right spot. Spillman with the rebound, and now he's getting rewarded for all that effort. Like you said earlier, coach, you got to take the free ones. What do you think, well, coach? You think you're going to get a press on a converted? I believe so. Free throw? I believe so. Doesn't look like Kyle Peterson's going to take his foot off the gas today. No. Whoops. Hustle by Roberts there. You, hey. <laughs> they don't convert, but the press is on anyway. Here we go. Vikings got to find a way. And that's not going to be the answer as Coach Jake Ray and the Vikings going to call a full timeout as it's a 9 to 1 run here in the third quarter by the Generals. We have been all Grassland Generals in this third quarter. And that lead starting to look a little aggressive here. And I think the play of Josh Roberts, the post player, is uh, and just the aggressiveness that he's gone is 
for this quarter has just uh, amped up the the whole play of Grassland. Even the bench is excited to see that. Yeah, you can feel it in the stands over here. We're on the general side, and they are pumped up with the play of the whole team, but definitely led by the big man and his aggressiveness. A little passive in the first half, I'd say, and I think the score reflected it. So the Vikings going to come out of the timeout. Well, check that. I believe, yeah, I believe it is grass the ball yeah, on the side. It, the turnover on the side. It should yeah. be a side out over here. It was tipped. Blues are going to convene and, and discuss. It is, yeah, it's white. It's white ball. They just threw it out. It was deflected, but regardless, Grassland's ball. <laughs> the younger Spillman getting in on the action. Yep. Coach Ray puts both hands up and says, "Next five, next five. That's the that's the platoon method Calipari showed us a few years ago at Kentucky, or possibly the frustration. Knots, clean look." A little too much, probably amped up with the adrenaline going on with the grass inside. Davis Long thought about it. Now he's definitely thinking about it. Yeah, I can really extend the lead, but could not convert. Rebound, 32, Jack Medley, he's bringing it up court. Number two, Grayson Collins on that three-point shot. It's a tough look at the rim. Yeah, absolutely. Looking over Josh Roberts. I mean, you probably have... And staying in that man. That'll just wear you down, coach. Yeah. Haven't been able to get many clean. Oh, moves. here we go. Showtime. Send it in. <laughs> Looks like he's been wanting that all day, folks. Yeah. Good. Ref wants to talk to Coach Ray about it. Yeah. Not sure what that conversation's looking like. Well, I thought maybe there was a technical on Josh Roberts, 23, after the dunk for hanging on the rim. On the emphatic Dunk right there. Let's see it. Uh, who's going to go to the line here for Brentwood? It's like number 10, Connor Pritchard. He's been able to get several buckets tonight inside and outside the three point line. In and out. That's a tough way to shoot a free throw. Yeah. Can't send a lazy pass out front no, with Josh absolutely. Roberts there. <laughs> and he missed both. Unfortunately, that is a tough one. It will be Brentwood's ball on the sideline. Number 30, Philip Himes, getting his first action of the night, will be throwing it in. The press isn't on, but it is still just. Yeah. Man lockdown from Kyle Peterson's generals. Got a mismatch. And oh, the Vikings just can't get it to fall. That ball is tipped out by Mason Woodrick. Going deep. 
Roberts to Stillman. Oh, man. He was thinking another slam dunk, wasn't he, Coach? Had, it, had the twinkle in his eye. That foul is going to be on number 30, Philip Himes. The Blues wondering if it happened on the floor. Well, they're, I think they're just trying to make sure they had the right number. Meyer Chance checking it in. Rebound number three, Ryan Barrett. Bad spot. Roberts wanted him another Ooh. one. Mike is moving the ball, cutting. They just can't seem to get an open look. Oh! Could have been an offensive foul right there. A desperation shot. The Lions getting him one in. Almost went. It's a tough look from the corner, though. Oh! <laughs> Nathan Spillman with a good solid take going to the stripe for two Spillman I think it may be three in a row for him He's struggling from the line tonight, Coach, but his play everywhere else has been yeah. fantastic. Aggressive throughout the first three quarters. Gilman needs one. He's got it. There he goes. The lid's off of it yeah. now. Yeah, now we're got it. 16-point difference here. Brentwood's it only scored one point. It has been all generals this third quarter. Like you said, Coach, the ball movement has been very good. Yep. Nice bucket there. The teardrop, Philip Himes. Looks like Himes got away with one on that side, but shot up by three. Ryan Barrett. There we go. Five yeah. quick ones. And I would say out of that, I, you wouldn't call these guys the, maybe the bottom five for the Vikings, but I, I would say I don't see any of the starters out there. They provided a good spark. Coach yeah. Ray has dug into his bench and pulled out some points. Much needed going into this fourth. It's going to be a tough hill to climb. Yeah. So, with uh, one quarter left to play in our WMAA Boys Championship game, the Grassland Generals leading the Brentwood Vikings 32 21. I'd be remiss if I did not mention that. Congratulations earlier to the Page Lady Panthers on their victory back to back on the girls' side over the Mill Creek Lady Mavericks. And congratulations to them. They've got it cranking over there at Page Middle School. Yeah, factory. Worked in the factory. It, now, I'm doing some uh, research. I believe the last time the Generals have won an outright championship was 2005. So. Ready to get off the schneid tonight. I think you were, what, in uh, college? I would have been a, a junior down there in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Shout out to the Blue Raiders. Having a tough year themselves, losing their head coach, Kermit Davis, to the Ole Miss Rebels. You don't see too, much, too many tears from you being an Ole Miss guy. Hey, I've got to represent both, coach. Absolutely. 
So we're heading here, fourth quarter starting, six minutes left. Somebody's gonna walk away, WMA County Champions. Looks like Coach Ray has opted to stick with the lineup he ended the yep. quarter with. You gotta throw it to the big fella. The double. Roberts continues to be aggressive here in the second half. Earns himself two at the line. And again, if you look out on the floor right there, Coach, the gray line would be the middle. <laughs> he is just to the left of the gray line. I don't know if he sees that nail in the floor. I don't think the nail is a, a big product of his lining up, but he's figured it out. He converts them both. This is the first possession after a converted shot by the generals that has not led to a press. Five turned it over yeah, to Tyler nice. Green, but he came back with a good uh -oh. defense. Can Spillman convert? So slow it down. Uh-oh. Nice pass. Great pass from Roberts. He's right to him, the big fella. Not gonna be able to answer. Spillman rebound. The seventh grader. Edwin Spillman fighting in there after the missed layup. He's going back to the stripe. With the contributions from the seventh graders on both teams, yeah. it looks like both these teams are here to stay next year as well. As Spillman converts. It was actually, I mean, you, you talk about it, both these teams JV squads were in the championship game uh, just last Saturday. And with Brentwood picking up the championship, beating Grassland. And Spellman on the offensive rebound, put back, counted. And Spellman at the line. And the brothers just switched spots, didn't they? That stretches the lead back out to 16. Yeah, with the JV teams playing in the championship on Saturday, I think this rivalry is gonna continue next year as well. Spillman hits his second free throw in a row. Roberts with the tough rebound. Cross court to Davis Long. You got to credit Brentwood. They're still playing hard. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 11, Mason Woodrick fighting all the way down the court for that loose ball. Mason Woodrick, a little tidbit, his uh, dad is the Grassland Middle School volleyball coach. How about that fun fact of the oh. day, folks? I don't have, I'm, oh. Wow, Spillman's half shots, Davis Long trying to. Sounds like we had a house divided there, coach. Oh, that's a strong rebound. That is a strong, manly, <laughs> Rebound right there, it's tough. Looks like Peterson's taking a timeout. He wants a full one. I imagine it's time to see some of those guys that have been cheering them on throughout the first three quarters. Yeah. Yeah, 418 here left in the, or I'm sorry, 413. Fourth quarter, Paul Brees, Daniel Poston here at Heritage Middle School. And we are Glad that you've joined us. 38-21. Your score is we have the timeout here. As well as I, I like to call it the cheerleader flip off. Every every you know, it's a battle every time. And, you, and well, we've had great basketball tonight, great cheerleaders, great fans. You know, when you're watching the cheerleaders in high school games, they'll go from one baseline almost to the other. 
they get up, or, or, or when they stop, there's no, there's no rocking it off. Uh-oh. Oh, Spillman couldn't get it clean. Should give it up to his brother right there. He does, and he finishes with the left. Grassland close to doubling up yeah. the Vikings. <laughs> and a nice convert. There we go. Maybe. Max Baranjape again. The layup. Josh Roberts tried to pin it. That's just too easy. On the break, you got to give Coach Ray credit for at least attempting to press. Whoop. Woodrick there. Hard to press a team that has the release that these kids have. And it's starting to be a track meet. We are getting close to track season, aren't we, Coach? And, and should I mention that the Grassland General Boys track team defending county champions, can they go back to back? Talk about a drought. I mean, 15 years for boys basketball, but I believe it was 30 years for track. So it's a good group of athletes. Absolutely. So what do they say? You get they come around once every blue moon. Well, the blue moon is here. So you better look at it. The better enjoy it. The blue moon and tons of rain. <laughs> it, tons of rain. Hey, what are we talking about? 15 more degrees, we'd be under a foot of snow. Right. You guys would be watching us by the fire, enjoying some nice. Yeah, Coco. A little Coco and uh, maybe some s'mores. Pete, Coach Peterson electing. Still roll with his five. And ride with the ones that got you here, I guess. Josh Roberts staying aggressive at the, at the point of that defense. Nice play. carry action there yep. called on Spillman. I don't know if I saw it, but hey, I don't have the whistle. Grassland staying aggressive, still nothing easy. Well, there we go, they found a way. Brentwood stuck with it, they've been very persistent running their offense. You can tell that they're well coached and they're good basketball players. Just haven't gotten many easy looks tonight. So 2.14 left here. You see the Vikings gonna throw it in. Down to 17. And Brentwood really working hard on offense. There's a three Cut from it to 14. Jack Medley. Two minutes remaining. Turnover. Not sure why Spillman did not take the layup. grassland has got to realize that they shouldn't be in a hurry. Another good look. Medley taking the NBA range three. Richard unable to finish with the right. 25, David Smith with a shot. Followed by another layup by Jack Medley. Brentwood will not go quietly into no, the good night. absolutely not. Going to one last ditch effort. Going to give it all they can here with 132 remaining. So next year. It's going to be uh, interesting to see these guys go at it in high school. Brentwood, of course, feeds Brentwood High, and Grassland feeds uh, Franklin High School. So both these teams, the cupboard is not bare. 
Absolutely not, Coach. And if you want to go check out some good basketball, Brentwood High School starting at 2 o'clock. There's going to be four Williamson County schools taking on four Metro Davidson County schools at Brentwood High School. And, I, I yeah, I'm going to be locked in, Coach. Four games back-to-back. -back. <laughs> Bring you a chair. Uh, I think my wife may be uh, looking for me after about 6 o'clock. <laughs> Coming out, Brentwood ball. Jack Medley tossing it in to Austin Cameron. Uh oh. That would have felt falling, coach. We would have had a some excitement. We would have had an amped up Brentwood middle section for sure. Cameron elects to foul. Sending Josh Roberts to the line. He has been pretty efficient from the stripe tonight. Roberts does not connect. There, there's my second jinx of the night, Coach. You called it. Two for two, if you will. <laughs> You're 100%. I guess I'm shooting 100% tonight. That would be the first time. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Brentwood down by 15. Got to make something happen. I imagine we're going to see some shots go up quickly. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I think that looked like 25 over the back to me. He's calling 2-5 yellow. It's electric. It's 10 fouls. Oh, I'm sorry, that's only three fouls on the. That is no, 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 we're shooting two shots now. I apologize, you're right. Correct. I got easily distracted by some fans. The fans are in the house tonight. It looks like they're about to have some fun over here, Coach. So Davis Long going to shoot two. And an uncharacteristic miss. He is usually money from the stripe. And then my jinx goes by the wayside. Shooting 67% now, coach. <laughs> uh oh, wide open lane. Richard working hard to get to the rack. He is still playing hard. You got to love the fight. Absolutely. Fight remains in the Vikings. And Coach Ray going to use the timeout, see if he can try to create something to keep it interesting. He's taking a full, I believe. The table just said that might be their last one. And he's checking in a few subs. <laughs> and the flip offs continue. Yeah, absolutely. There's no lack of talent here on the floor tonight. <laughs> Here's another fun fact. My daughter, a cheerleader at Brentwood Middle. All right, coach. He's over there. It's not a flipper, though. Not a, not a flipper. No. He's all about the base. <laughs> no treble. <laughs> I know if I did a few of those, I would be uh, what they say, uh, discombobulated. <laughs> Maybe seeing stars. Yep. So Coach Peterson goes with the uh, free throw shooting lineup. And now we'll come back with a defensive group. St. John to the stripe. With the 14 point yep. differential in 50 seconds, checking that scores table, you wouldn't think. 
the lead was this big. Yeah, the way these coaches are playing chess right here, we feel like maybe it's a five-point game instead. Exciting nonetheless. St. John. And rims out on that one. They picked it up at a bad spot. Oh, we got another dunk. And that time he sent it down with the left hand. The left-handed slam, emphatic, and that might <laughs> just do it, Coach. That one five. Long gets the rebound ahead to Spillman on the run. Pushing it. That makes the lead 19. Pritchard with the three. <laughs> Spillman dribbles it up. Well, that's going to wrap it up here at Heritage Middle School as the Generals take the WMAA Boys Championship game for the first time in 14 years. And for Paul Brees and Daniel Poston on our WCTV Game of the Week, thanks for joining us. The Grassland Generals win 51-32.